And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Green Bay Packers. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Miami set to take over. Now a man who tore up the Packers in the NFC title game a few years back. It's Raheem Mostert. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. And that's on Austin Jackson. First round pick in 2020. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Throwing now is Chungamailoa. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Packer pressure and down he goes. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. But defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. Fielded at the 33. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Love looking to throw it. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. You've got to shake that off and get going. Here's second and 10. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, Love. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed, and he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Off the play fake, Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And it's a Packers touchdown. Christian Watson, 27 yards. And the Packers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely... There he goes, left side. Now inside the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert. 81 yards and the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six well forget about the weapons out wide he knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game Charles and he utilized him perfectly on that play and the offense coordinator showed me something on that play Brandon because so often during a game our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets and you wonder if they're absorbing anything he had something specific in mind and he went to it and it worked well. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time, he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Now Love. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. 
Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Try to run for it with Jacobs. That's a strong running, and he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw now, here's Love. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second and 10. Love now. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On play action. Love to throw. Completed out left to Dobbs. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards, but also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Seven, seven, our score after one. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Here's Love. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. Josh Jacobs, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have taken the lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal, and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line, and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Out comes the Miami offensive unit. Now they get set to take over. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. That one complete to Hill. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Tua. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage and a first down. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Now Tua. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, it's Mostert. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's second and four from the 24. Two are going to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 14. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. To the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays. 
but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get into the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. And that is incomplete. Like what I've seen so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. It's taken to the 26. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Throwing. Love, and this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Second down, Love. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way. 
and they continue to move the ball downfield. Touchdown! Romeo Dobbs, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Packers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Two and now on first down. His throw incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. And it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. A quick slant to Hill. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Tua sets up to pass it. Short throw to Smith. Finding room at midfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Now a second and 10. Two and a throw again. Over the middle to back him. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Throwing now is Chunga Vailoa. That is caught. Oh, some strong running. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Two and now on first down. Touchdown, Dolphins! Jalen Waddle as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, 
and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that cuts the lead to 28-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It'll be a gain of four here, and it will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Still 15 yards to go, second down. Love. And that's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Slant around, he's got Dobbs. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 42. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Love now. That's complete to Dobbs. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A gain there of 30 big ones. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. First down, going to the air with Love. And it's a Packers touchdown. Christian Watson, his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. It's caught by OBJ. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Tua. Again, it's OBJ, back-to-back -back catches. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Looking to pass, Tua. Got his man complete over the middle, that's Hill. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 45-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three.
They hand it off to Mostert. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Well, another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. Fights off the defender. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and a couple. Back now at Lambeau. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys... Touchdown! Tyreek Hill, 26 yards. And the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away first downs they can't touch the ball the loves throw finds its target Dobbs and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four second and six just inside the 30. They go bootleg. Love. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Packers on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This will be third and six. Love looking to throw it. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. That he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is taken at the 23. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. 
Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this. So a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have got the first one for the second one to even matter. From the gun, it's Tua. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. On first down, Tongue of Iloa. It's caught. Back up. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Over the middle complete. That's Hill. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 29, here's second and a yard. Tua sets up to pass it. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And they'll get this down to the 10. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Now correct me if I'm wrong. You're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Two and now on first down. Getting this out to the flat. Mostert. Touchdown, Dolphins. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Love from the gun. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Third down, here comes Jacobs. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So Tua and the Dolphins down by seven. A minute 52 to play. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Now Tua. Into the hands of Beckham. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here's second and a yard. Here's Tua. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Lambeau faithful making as much noise as they can. It's third down. Tua. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. Throw caught by A-Chan. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And two big plays, one after the other. Now, all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them. Here's first and 10.
Throwing to a. It's Hill complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Here's first down. Now Tua. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Here's Tua. And they do not get it. It's incomplete. They went for the win, and the big gamble does not pay off. So the clock sits at 16 seconds as they line up for the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now... This game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. To a knee goes love, and that should be that. A couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this one, Charles, would have been different, but ultimately time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short, and they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long.